we already know a lot of methods through which we can create an ellipse once the construction process finishes uh, you've got all the dots all the points and when you join all the points in proper sequence you have yourself a curve which in this case is none other than an ellipse but here is the problem some students complain that so uh, when connecting the dots uh, my hands are shaking slightly some students complain that so uh, when connecting the dots as my table is uneven so i'm not able to draw a smooth curve so these are the complaints that i will be addressing in today's session and the best method that i'll recommend for you is the four center method but remember this is an approximate method and not an exact method okay if in the question no method is mentioned for constructing an ellipse you can go for it but if in the question it has been mentioned that you have to draw this using the intersecting arcs technique or using the oblong technique go for that method anyway so uh, what we are going to do is construct an ellipse with major axis as 125 and minor axis as 75 and by the way this video is also available in hindi the link to which can be found in the description down below ye video hindi mein bhi uplabdh hai mere dusre channel btech plus mein niche description mein mil jayega link let's begin <coughs> major minor given already drawn first step connect c with a here we go done okay so far so good now extend c in the upper direction okay extend a line basically and d in the downward direction something of this sort all right now with o as center and with with ob as radius rotate in the anti clockwise sense you will reach here done sir now with c as center and with this much as the radius rotate again in the anti clockwise sense you will realize that it is going to intersect this arc is going to intersect line ac somewhere here and let's call this point this very point as e now what you need to do is you need to find the perpendicular bisector of ae okay and this is going to give us two very important centers okay perpendicular bisector means i mean it is going to be simply a line like this which is going to divide ae into two equal divisions and at the same time here the angle made would be 90 degrees so that's the perpendicular division and for that i would suggest to take you an arc which is more than half of ae or you can simply take ae itself no problem now take this much as the arc in your compass now with a center put an arc above and below now with e a center cut above cut below what you have these two points connect these two points and then extend until you reach somewhere here okay so what we basically have is the two centers here it is this is o1 and here it is another one that is o2 so you have now two centers literally you can create your ellipse with a compass or a rounder no problem you don't have to get into this i mean free hand or use a french curve or anything like that simply using a compass you can create an ellipse no problem and i hope that would be easy for you <clears throat> so we've got two centers o1 o2 with o as the center and with o o1 as the radius flip it in the other direction and cut an arc over here okay once you do that what you have is another point another center o3 similarly with o o3 no with o o2 as the radius with o as the center with o as the center flip it this way okay so this is going to give you o4 now these are the four centers i mean which we'll be using okay along with the compass uh, to create the entire ellipse watch o2 o1 have been connected so similarly what you need to do is you need to connect o4 with o1 and o3 this way extend extend the line also no problem o2 and o3 this fashion extend now with o1 a o1 a as the radius and with o1 as center make an arc this way and this way okay done sir now listen to this very carefully now with o2 c o2 c as the radius o2 c as the radius that means this is where you need to put the steel leg of your compass and the pencil leg of your compass once you do that and with o2 as the center what you need to do is 
take it to the left side and to the right side done okay <clears throat> thirdly this is o3 by the way this is the arc that you need to take rotate up and down done now as far as o4 is concerned uh, where is this t with this much this is steel leg and this happens to be the pencil leg rotate this way and this way this is how you can construct uh, the ellipse using the four center technique right i think this is going to be very easy for you and uh, i'm sure with this all of you can create a good enough ellipse so guys that was all from my side for today if you find this helpful do like and share the video with your friends and classmates so that they can also benefit and if you really want to learn engineering drawing in depth enroll in my course as soon as possible link is in the description thank you very much good day